This is a new air cannon I just made up and I'm going to try out today. It has a 3 inch by 12 inch long steel reservoir for the air with quarter inch wall thickness. It's using a piston valve which is piloted by a half inch solenoid valve, 120 volt, so we have a remote firing switch on a cord for this one. On it I have mounted the 72 inch caliber 565 barrel and uh, today's ammo will be 360 grain hard alloy cast lead slugs. Here's a view of the setup for today. We can see the cannon, and down it we can see the compressor. Then along the bench we can see the chronograph and today's target. A very old hard drive, it's dated 1991 and has a capacity of 85 megabytes. I don't think I need this hard drive anymore. We'll be firing on the hard drive at 350 PSI. The hard drive is in a vise which is screwed down to the bench. Here's 350 PSI and fire! Well, that shot went clean through the hard drive, clean through the platter stack, and right out the back, leaving a great big hole. That was pretty effective. Well, I'm charging up for another shot. I'm going to aim an inch, inch and a half higher, because that's where the spindle motor for the platters is located. For the second shot, we'll fire at 350 PSI. Ah, let's go 375, what the heck. Okay, 375 PSI. Ah, why not go 400? It's not taking long to come up to pressure. And it is a tough part of the hard drive. 390, 395, 400, and fire! Well, I heard parts come right out of the hard drive. I think we ripped it apart. Let's go see. Well, here's the hard drive parts that were blown onto the floor, as well as the uh, second slug, which also popped out onto the floor, getting uh, quite deformed, as we can see. It hit nose first, and uh, even mushroomed some. Interesting. So here's our kit of parts for this 1991 dated 85 megabyte or so hard disk that's just been disassembled by the air cannon.
here's the two recovered slugs. The one from the first shot is on the left. The mushroomed one from the second shot that hit the hard drive motor pretty much dead on is shown on the right. 